Thank you for joining me in the review of my capstone project, Shifting Ethos in the Face of Digital Reformation. My name is Anna Hale, and I am a candidate for a specialist in instructional technology for the fall of 2017. The problem I identified in my capstone proposal was the need for high quality professional development that would provide educators with strategies and skills to create student-centered learning opportunities in a personalized learning environment. The project was to host a one-day conference for educators, provide educators with tools and strategies to implement student-centered learning where teachers are advocates of learning rather than directors of learning. In January of 2017, I hosted a professional development conference at Kennesaw State University's Bagwell College of Education. This conference was termed a micro-conference because it was a hyper-focused single-day event. The focus was on personalized learning with the caveat of creating student-driven learning experiences, thus putting the focus on the person. That's how the tagline, putting the person back in personalized learning, developed. I am a firm believer that educators must be proactive and take control of their professional learning by selecting and attending high-quality professional development opportunities. Otherwise, educators will be at the whim and mercy of their district and school's professional learning priorities, which may or may not align with the needs of that teacher or his or her students. Because I see high quality professional development as critical for teachers to innovate and motivate in their classrooms, I knew I wanted to create a professional learning experience for teachers. As this idea grew in my mind, I knew one critical element that I had to secure in order for this conference to be successful. I had to get Discovery Education to be a part of the event. I had contacted two people I had previously worked on projects with at Discovery Education, Kelly Hines and Sonia Glasper. They were very enthusiastic about partnering with me to put together the micro-conference. Discovery provided expert support, a keynote speaker, and financial support so that lunch could be catered to attendees. Additionally, Kennesaw State University's iTeach team provided four coaches to support this event. As this conference developed, I knew the structure would be important. I wanted to have some concurrent sessions and have some unstructured time for participants to explore, plan, and connect. Originally, I thought we would have the keynote speaker in the morning to kick off the event and set the tone for the day. Discovery Education very kindly agreed to provide the keynote speaker for the event pro bono. I asked if there was any possible way to get Dean Chereski to speak to the participants. When Kelly and Sonia got back to me and said Dean would be more than happy to be our keynote speaker, I was thrilled. However, nothing goes 100% smoothly. Dean was already scheduled elsewhere for the date of the conference. After some brainstorming and schedule rearranging, we were able to book Dean for a 1 p.m. keynote via Google Hangout. While it would have been incredible to have him in the room with us, having him drop in via the internet was a great modeling opportunity for the participants to see how technology can both shrink our world and expand our opportunities. The dynamic of having the keynote after lunch was actually a great thing. The morning became our structured time with concurrent sessions offering participants a variety of tools and strategies to take back to their classrooms while the time after the keynote was unstructured time for teachers to explore what they had learned during the earlier part of the day, create an implementation plan to incorporate what they had learned into their lesson plans, and connect with one another. The concurrent sessions were created to provide a variety of strategies, tools, and skills for participants. The sessions offered were engaging and innovative. In the virtual reality session, we wanted teachers to start thinking about how to use virtual reality in the classroom. Each participant received a pair of VR goggles for just attending the conference. They used them to explore the Discovery VR app. In the Spotlight on Strategies session, participants learned about resources on the Discovery Education website where educators can find more than 100 research-based learning strategies to engage students. This concurrent session allowed participants to explore these strategies and see some in action. 
Another concurrent session taught participants how to make green screen studios with pizza boxes. Participants learned about green screen apps to empower students to create amazing videos or stop motion movies right in the classroom without a large setup or expensive equipment. Personalizing with multimedia demonstrated how to integrate technology and multimedia into the classroom on a daily basis. This concurrent session complemented the Spotlight on Strategies session by showing teachers how multimedia could be used to personalize learning. The final concurrent session discussed the pedagogy involved in using technology to personalize student learning experiences. This session was led by a KSU iTeach coach who conducted a roundtable discussion with participants and addressed concerns, problems, questions that teachers had with bringing technology into the classroom. After the concurrent sessions, but before lunch, I wanted teachers to have a bit of a break and to experience educational games. So teachers have the choice of going on a goose chase, which is an educational scavenger hunt, or compete in a breakout EDU game. The keynote by Dean Chereski was very well received. He talked about student-centered learning and student-driven learning experiences. The benefit of Dean doing his speech on a Google Hangout was that we were able to back channel with him. This allowed Dean to directly address our questions and comments. I think it made the participants feel involved in the keynote rather than just spoken to. After the keynote speech, participants were able to have one-to-one -one or small group coaching time with the KSU coaches or the Discovery Education representatives Kelly and Sonia. It was really interesting to see teachers gravitate towards areas that excited them and they wanted to use in their instruction to engage their students. We wrapped up the day with door prizes awarded by Discovery Education and collecting feedback. The feedback from the participants was very positive. I collected feedback in two ways. The first was an online survey using Google Forms, and the second was using an app called Recap, which allows participants to respond to a prompt by recording a video or audio response. Let's take a look at some of the data from the participants. Overall, the feedback shows that participants valued the conference and found it useful and applicable to their classrooms. When participants were asked, are you able to take what you learned and apply it to your classroom? 72% replied, definitely. 18% replied, yes, probably. And 9% replied, yes, but with some preparation. When participants were asked, would you recommend this conference to a peer? 90.9% said yes, and 9.1% said yes, but they wished the conference had focused more on personalized learning. And participants were asked, did you connect with someone you didn't know before you came today? 81.8% replied yes, 9.1% replied no, and 9.1% replied maybe. I want to share with you the words of one of the participants. This feedback was captured via the Recap app. Today at the microconference, I learned about um, the green screen apps and the technology with that and how to use that in the classroom. That was awesome. I um, also learned Goose Chase, which I've already made one for um, my AVID students to do this Friday, so excited about that. Um, also, um, really excited about some of the virtual reality stuff. Um, hoping that I can get some more of those um, for my classroom. And I'm already thinking about writing a grant for that. And just really excited to take back some of these new tools and to extend my network of people that I uh, communicate with about personalized learning. And um, had a great time, really enjoyed the style and the flow and, um, and being able to learn some really cool new stuff and meet some cool new people. And uh, thank you so much for hosting. And that's about it. Looking back on the Capstone experience really makes me proud. While not everything went as planned or as smoothly as I wanted, overall, I think it was a powerful experience for those in attendance. The things that went right and worked well in the Capstone were the variety of concurrent sessions we had, having experts in the field lead those sessions, giving teachers a chance to dive deeper into the areas that excited them, 
The things that I would definitely change and improve the next time I organize a conference or large professional learning event would be number one, the registration process. While I used a Google form to record the participants as they signed up, when they came to check in, things did not go smoothly. I would definitely improve on that. And also, I loved having Dean come in through Google Hangout and do a virtual keynote. Next time I would not use Google Hangout, we had a lot of difficulty hearing him clearly and him being able to hear us. I hope this capstone experience leads to future professional opportunities for me. While this type of undertaking is arduous and stressful at times, it was immensely satisfying to know that I was able to empower my peers to engage students and enhance their learning opportunities.